A new weight loss pill could hit the market soon in place of injectable drugs like Ozempic and Wacovi. Researchers from Eli Lilly say this once daily pill in development right now would be a first of its kind. Tenevi's Kristen McFarland spoke with a doctor and joins us now with much more on this. Kristen, a lot of people listening. Angela, that's right. GLP-1 medications have been around for years. Only recently has the medication shifted from treating solely type 2 diabetes to now also weight loss. But as the industry continues to evolve, the way people take these drugs could be changing too. Over the last few years, injectable weight loss drugs hit the market and quickly gained popularity. Now, a new once daily pill, hoping to do the same. Once thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of patients start using them, I think we'll learn more about how well they work, what potential side effects they are. Then, Ohio Health's course, medical director for bariatric okay. surgery, Dr. Tom Sonnenstein, tells me the pill may be more appealing for patients and cost effective than injections. If you don't have the injector, you don't have the storage issues and all the nuances and extra expense that goes with it, that it just seems to make sense that it will be, you know, more affordable for patients. The company behind the pill, Eli Lilly, says the pill could be available worldwide. And with the injectables you're talking about, if you're paying out of pocket over $1,000 a month, now pills are much cheaper to manufacture. Oh. Now on the flip come... side, it'll be you've got to take the medication every day or maybe multiple times a day versus once a week. So there may be a little bit of trade off with that. As many people seek weight loss options, experts are recommending looking at the bigger picture of health. There's certainly the, the concern that there could be a motivation towards a quick fix, though I think most patients will realize pretty quickly that it's not a quick fix and, and that if that's their intention, they'll realize, hey, this takes a little bit of time, sometimes a lot of time to lose the weight. Yeah, we know nothing's ever a quick fix, right? right? So um, the company says it's seeking FDA approval in 2026. But on social media, we see it all the time. All these other supplement, weight loss supplements and things like that. Did this doctor say anything about those and how do we know if those are safe? Yeah, Angela, that's a good question. Like you said, it seems like all the time we're just bombarded with these yeah. ads and, you know, weight loss campaigns. And experts really say you want to make sure you're going to a trusted source, a medical mm. professional, um, and kind of sound out that noise because it can get overwhelming. But if you go to a trusted source, you're more likely to get you know better direction and good results. Someone who can actually prescribe and follow along with you, right? Make sure exactly. you're doing it right. And it's a process, like we said, yeah. it doesn't happen overnight. It's not a quick fix. Mm -hmm. It's a lifestyle change, too.